Hi, uh, good everyone. It's quite late. So today was the opposite of expectations. I wasn't opportuned to start work immediately. Early this morning, I had to attend to an emergency. And from there, I just said, you know what, I should relax up a bit. I did it. Woke up. I did, I did a video on Sporty Bed, which is Sporty Bed for football. Um, relaxed up a bit. Slept and I even missed an appointment at the hospital today. And now I'm awake. And I have to continue from where I stopped this evening. So yeah, that is where I am. I didn't get to work so much during the day. So what I intend to do is very simple. I intend to spend myself at night, you know, working or doing the things that I ought to have done during the day. My problem is I've told myself during the day is going to be the day and night is going to be night. That means I'm going to walk during the day and I'll sleep like a human being at night. You know, I know it's beautiful walking around the clock, but I want to learn how to make the day and night night. Except for maybe I'm just passionate about maybe a book, project I'm working on, and I'm just decide to go over the top. But I wouldn't want it to be any more like a pressure for me. Okay, so that's that. Um, it's really challenging being a CEO. And one of the biggest challenges of being a CEO is the fact that you constantly have to do your business yourself. Because the same drive you have for that business would not be the same drive someone else would have. For someone else, they would just appreciate the good life that comes up with managing that business. Maybe it's a productive business where you get a whole lot of money and you're able to afford certain things for yourself. And you just want to be in that position where you'll be able to afford more. Sorry for this plenty of money, I should just put my secrets. Okay. Sorry. Okay, they will just want to be in that position where they can equally afford, you know, those things that you can afford. And when you not leave your business for them, you know, like I said, they were just interested in the money. So to, the, to them, it's just more of how can they really maximize as much money as possible. Now, what I just told you was exactly what happened to me. Because the Renaps brand, for instance, it's a very beautiful brand. It started as me teaching people how to predict virtual football. Spending my time in creating virtual football prediction softwares enthusiastically every single day coming online to make video tutorials showing people how to bet on these games using the software making consistent innings training people listening to people's feedback using their feedback to also improve the software because sometimes people tell me new strategies they have discovered will rub minds ultimately and that has been the growth of how Renaps moved from just you know one guy teaching to a full-fledged company that offers virtual football prediction now last year i left this renaps in the hands of someone and i told the person that i would be focusing fully on my software career because i'm a software programmer and i would want to build my career as a person i would want to work on other fancy projects and i would want to start up a new life like i'm really fed up with just being a renaps guy and after discussing and I left the whole business in this person's hand, I did not do any video tutorial anymore. The last time I did a video tutorial on YouTube was when I said I would likely not do a tutorial again and someone else would handle that. Last year finished, the person did not make a single video, the person did not you know, make even a new single post. The business was just basically the way it is that last thing. It almost died off okay now this is a business that i have nurtured 
for the past how many years ever since i was in school till i graduated till i became a man till even i had a family this has been my years of hard work and in less than a year renaps was down to the floor no new videos no updates no promotion no advertisements no even putting customers first no like nothing now i'm back to renaps again to start managing it myself because the person i left it for was just so focused on people should buy, come and buy prediction software let me make sales so come and buy software how much did we set today oh 20 people bought the software today oh we made up to 400,000 today 300,000 today in software sales oh now the software started going down one by one the person was still focused on the ones they could sell no video no nothing nothing and even the sales started dropping now because people need to see that it's working and that is where you need to make videos to constantly let people know that this thing is working and that was how the company went down so it's the same thing as when people open like a biscuit factory or open like a food factory and at the beginning the biscuit factory is going very well they have one of the best biscuits then someone else takes over the company and they say ah this biscuit and the materials they carry for this are uh, too much oh. and then they now reduce the quality of the biscuits maybe the original person who opened that big that biscuit product did it with so much oh people will love this my biscuit recipe the biscuits is very sweet it tastes better than other biscuits and the last person will take over the biscuit company is saying how do i make more money and now have that loot the biscuits you know biscuit that is be so good now not start tasting stupid and before you know the biscuit company goes down as a business owner eh, don't give your business to those people who want to dilute the biscuit to because they will dilute it the biscuit will be worthless and they will likely even tell you how your product is a mess and how your time and errors the funny thing is people hardly actually take blame anyway like when i made complaint the person was telling me oh but we're expecting you to make videos i said make videos after leaving me up for you in your hand in your care you know focus on other things and the funny thing is not like i left it in your care to manage why i ate the money or ate whatever software purchase both the purchases on software everything i left it in your care and i would even from time to time support you financially when i can and a business that was doing very well one of them by one prediction software top ranking on youtube perfectly fine sustainably doing so good suddenly went down the mud and they're telling me you were waiting for me that means if i'm dead now if i don't die tomorrow you me i still wake up from grief can you do ah this is an okay this is real naps let's make money on better and john you will still wait for me and you supposed to employ people who be doing the video raise up a particular customer care to help you reply messages manage the business do lots of advertisements you know since the softwares are so good you constantly look for somebody to do it to learn my skills of gambling you know then the bots are there that automatically bet for people if anybody's having issues betting themselves you refer them to my automated bots they, they they constantly update themselves which is the bots you know you my business was thriving when i gave it to you and now it's on the mod and all you can tell me is you were expecting me to do video let's start leaving the business that means i should just go and do video for you you will not make sales you will not pocket the money and i will not go back i'm not a video man who will be recording the betting videos for you for a business i left for you're not even thinking of oh you should have him i just feel some people are not just good at taking blames they will just they must look for a way to shift it to you so they just feel better for themselves and learn nothing so i just i went back to my company and i'm hoping to improve it now but this time around it's going to be the number one in nigeria this year especially that was the dead better you're going to see it rank number one it's a promise so i would head back i'm heading home i want to shower up and i want to walk so this is the gist for today tomorrow we'll have a topic with our friend stanley i wasn't able to do that today because i was resting so till next time see you all this time